Hello Stampin' Friends and welcome to Linda's Stamping Escape. How are you today? I would like to welcome you to my page and invite you to watch my video which is featuring a Halloween pop-up card. I am going to be using Cute Halloween from the mini catalog along with the Peaceful Cabin bundle and Little Delights. There are going to be three components that we are creating to go onto our card. So we will get started in just a minute here as I clear off my desk. Okay, we've got some gingham ribbon we're going to be using today, and our little specters, so let's pop them right up there, because otherwise I tend to knock them off the table. So let's do that, put them there. We'll keep our ribbon handy. And this is the die cut from the Peaceful Cabin Bundle. And then this is the designer paper we're using from Cute Halloween Suite. So we're actually using two patterns today. We'll be using this one here and then this one, which has the frightfully cute little vampire bats. But we're not using those. We're using this one here and then this one. So let's get started and I'm going to pull my paper cutter in first because we are going to cut this piece of paper. Now for our card front, it's going to have to be four by five and a quarter. So we're going to cut our four inches off and I'm just going to move this over here to make sure that I can catch everything there. All right. There we go. All right, just want to make sure that you can see this. So we're at four inches right here. So we're going to cut that. All right. And then five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. Trying to see which edge I want to cut off. But I think I'll do this one. There we go. I actually am going to trim off a little bit more of this, like an eighth of an inch just so I get a nice little border around my other piece here. So I'm going to add another piece here. I want to bring all that color together. So that means I need to cut one more piece here forgot about that. So let's do five and a quarter. Again, this will be for the inside of our card. By four. Get that out of the way. This is so cute and I love pop-up cards and so do kids. So this is going to be a treat for them. So we're going to set that one off to the side, pull these little pieces out, and we're going to use this to do our scoring. So I'm going to do all of the stuff that I need to do with the paper cutter here. All right, and I'm going to flip my cutter out of the way. And this paper comes in six by six, so I'm going to cut it in half so we get three inches here. 
and then we are going to score it at half inch increments. So we got a half inch here, and we're going to score. We're going to go to one inch and score, one and a half inches and score, and then out to two inches and then score. I love how deep this piece is here. Uh, the bed is set down further so that when you line this up, you get a nice sturdy alignment. All right, now I'm gonna bring it out to two and a quarter, and we're gonna bring our cutter back in and we're gonna cut that off. We're gonna save this piece for later. And then this piece here, we can take our cutter away now, is going to get formed into a little box almost. So I like nice crisp edges. And I scored that paper just a little bit too heavy on that side, but not to worry because it's all going to be glued anyways. Speaking of glue, I'm going to bring the Tombow in here. Whoa. All right, scrap paper. Doesn't take all that much glue to hold this little piece down, but there we go. Set that off. There. Fold this in half right over the top of that. And then that will seal that for us. So that little quarter inch piece there is what's gonna hold this together. And this little piece, it's what's gonna pop up the inside of a card. So let's just set that over here by our little specters, our little ghosts, whatever you like to call them. All right. And we will continue with the front of our card. I have my Stampin' Seal Plus here. I love this. It really holds well. And it kind of breaks apart here. You, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually perforated. Can you, can you see that? So it kind of breaks off a lot nicer than some of the other adhesives. So we're gonna line this up here. We see a little piece sticking out. So just pop that under. All right. My hands aren't working. There we go. And now we have that nice border that brings the pumpkin pie color from their trick-or-treat bags out. Which is what we did with our gingham ribbon. I used the pumpkin pie Stampin' Blends, the alcohol markers, and just ran it across my ribbon and dyed it. So this beautiful black and white can be any color you want it. So whatever colors you have in your Stampin' Blends, you can color your gorgeous little ribbon here. All right, now we're gonna put some more of this down. Stick that there, wrap this around, and come back on the other side. There we go. Now we will need a little greeting. And our greeting is gonna come again from the Little Delights. This is also found in the holiday catalog. I'm sorry, I'm re regressing here. They now call it the mini, but we all called it the holiday catalog. And somewhere, it's my little piece of 
white cardstock. Oh, here he's hiding. Oh, oh you guys. See, it doesn't, it doesn't take a magician to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, does it? Okay. Well, I'm going to bring my cutter back in. And I have a little piece of a cabin left over here from another project. So I'm just going to take a quarter inch here and cut that off. There we go. So now I can still use my cabin. And now I have a nice little piece here for my greeting. So, Memento ink. We just keep rolling, don't we girls? Isn't that what we do when we stamp? And I love the photopolymer stamps for my greetings. They get a nice alignment every time. All right, so we're gonna grab one of our friendly little guys right over here. And should we pop him up right there? I think so, why not? Right over the top of the other one. And then we're not hiding any of our other little specters there. So we'll just pop him right over the top of that one. I'm gonna take our scissors and trim this off. Don't need a lot, but I just kind of want to bring that under there a little more. Most of the time I'm using scraps left over from cutting other projects. Okay, now let's cut our end off here. That's straight, Linda. There we go. And then I'm going to take a little snip right down the center. And then from the corners, I'm going to come in and cut right to that center piece. And we'll get a nice little banner. There we go. Little adhesive to hold him down. over the top, a little bit over the top of our ribbon. Then let's tie a cute little bow over here. Just tie it on. I don't remember who showed me this years ago, but I love this technique because the bows then do not fall off. There we go. Not that you'll never see me stamping or, I mean, popping up a bow, but I still like this technique. So there is the front of our card. We are done with that right now. So we are going to start working on the insides of our card. Get this out of the way and let's have some fun. I'm going to bring in some scrap paper and a piece of Highland Heather. The Highland Heather, of course, is the background of our front card. So we're gonna start with that, and I'm gonna bring in some gorgeous grape. And with my grape, you can see I'm using the blending brushes. So we're gonna put some color on there, and then starting from the outside, we're gonna work our way in. And you're gonna see me bring color pretty much all the way up to the center. And then I'm not being real picky because it's going to be a scary sky. So as we blend in this color, we're going to create a beautiful backdrop for our pop-up card. And I just love these blending brushes. 
And if you don't own them by now, make sure you put them on your wish list. Let your husbands know what you need for Christmas. And then shoot that. Give him my um, information so he can get that over to me. And I will help him get you what you want for Christmas. There we go. Now I'm going to bring a little bit more of this in over here and a little bit over here, kind of make that spooky. But we want to leave a little bit of that lightness going on in the center because we're not done yet. Since we have a spooky night, we are going to bring in the Knight of Navy. So let's bring that in here. Okay. And we are going to take our blend, blending brush again and pull that color onto your brush and start from the outside and work your way in. Now I'm just really getting the edges in nice and dark. But when you pull that in, a, in just a little bit, Look at that crazy purple. So now we're creating new colors. And yes, your fingers are going to get a little inky. Because I don't wait for anything to dry. I just keep going. I just keep my, try to keep my fingers out of the middle there. All right, I'll bring a little bit up here. Look at that. It's looking spooky, right? That nice dark color and around the edges just really makes it look like nighttime. And then we're creating new colors and blending up just a really cool looking night sky. So that is it for that. Now I did share this and do this live last night, but we had some technical difficulties, so I am redoing this. I want to get some of this ink off my finger. And so I might add a little something later to that. Now, last night, we did add some trees. So let me pull my Knight of Navy back out. And since we're using the Peaceful Cabin Bundle, we do have these gorgeous trees. And I'm just going to use those two. Just because there's three doesn't mean we have to use them all. So we're going to flip our ink pad upside down and put your stamps up towards you. Because that way, when you ink, you can see how much ink you're getting on there. So nice and juicy. We're going to bring this in and pop it right down there. There we go. And you got a little bit of that spooky color left. So I am going to add a moon. And because I do not have this already prepped, I'm going to do a little cheater here and use my punch. As you know, Stampin' Up! doesn't have the circle punches because we have that beautiful set of um, I'll think of it. <laughs> Ooh, let's put this moon up in the sky here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Um, our set of layering circle dies. That's where my mind is going. All right, so we're about done with this for now. I'll be adding a little ghost up here, but for right now, this background is complete. So we're gonna set that aside, and we are gonna pull in, remember that piece of paper that we cut off the bottom because we took our four inches from here? So we got our four inches there. So now we have two inches left. I think that's a little too high. So what I am going to do is trim that down 
about a half an inch. How does that sound? And since we are using our ghosts, there we go. Whoops. So it's going to be one and a half inches. Okay, and since we are going at five and a quarter, let's just trim that off right away too since we have our cutter out. And I don't have to go back and cut it off the back. And while I have a punch right here, I am going to kind of center this and punch a little spot right there. Okay, look at, this is even one of the oldie, oldie, oldie punches. So now you know the quality of Stampin' Up, correct? All right, let's get a little bit of this glue back down here. This is our combo adhesive. There we go. And I want to let a little bit of that pumpkin pie show through the bottom. Really makes our boo pop there, right? And you notice that I only put it here, here, and across the bottom. I have no adhesive up here at all. Now we're going to do a little more stamping. And again, this one comes from Little Delights. So we're going to use Trick or Treat, Ghoulish Delights, and then the bats from this stamp set. Okay. We are going to bring back in our Memento ink. Nice black color. Ink that up. Let's do it this way so I can make sure I got a nice even ink on there. There we go. And this is going to go right there. And I'm kind of lining up the T's with the top of my little paper there. So it's kind of tucked right in there. Now let's grab our little bats. Get them in there. Let's get them as if they're flying off the page. And then these will be lining up over here. Okay, beautiful. Now, we have our three components to our card. There's one, there's the front, and here is the other part of the inside. So these two are going on the inside, and this little cutie is going to be our front. So back off he goes again. And our leftover piece from our little box here is right here. And what I'm going to do with that is take this. I'll show you another one that doesn't have it on the back. So that way you can kind of see what it's going to look like. But I got to be careful when putting the adhesive right here because I didn't want to pull that out, but you can. But see how this piece comes out? There we go. But I'm going to leave the little slots in there, and then I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool and push out those little pieces there. Now, remember that piece of yellow that we had? And that would be, I'm going to take this out here. Just take a little trim off of that one. Might have to make this a little smaller. I'm going to make it look like the lights are on. You know, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Okay. On this one, I'm going to add a little bit of glue right there. Just pop these in the window. Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting awful close to the edge, so you guys are going to have a hard time seeing that. <clears throat> there we go. All right, now I'm going to add a little more glue, not a lot. So I can adhere that down. Remember I put that other piece up there 
And I see a few more pieces that I want to pop out of here. This gives it some nice dimension when you have that layering effect. I'm going to put this right on here. Whoops. Let me get this up here so you get a better view. All right. And I'm just going to press that down. Now, when I cut this, see how my scissors is at an angle? That's because I don't want any of this to show through, but I didn't want to trace, and that's just too much work. So I'm just trimming it right up to the house. Or should I say cabin? So right up to that cabin. I'm going to cut that big piece off. There we go. Now we got a little more room there to work. And again, right up to slightly under so it's not showing through and we don't need that one at all so there we go now you have this beautiful two-tone effect but the lights are on at home and before i hook this all together i'm going to put my house where i wanted my cabin let's do that right there and then i'm going to flip this over and cut this off you could pre-cut it, but um, you know how sometimes when you cut your cardstock and it's off like about 1 16th and it might be short? Well, I didn't want that on my card here, so I just made sure I cut it that way. Okay, not going to do that yet. Now we need our full piece of black cardstock. And I think I left it over here, so let me grab that. There it is. And you see my shirt and everything. <laughs> okay. Let's... Is that right? Perfect. All right. We do our fold. So if you're scoring, of course, you're going to score at four and a quarter. But I just fold and then use my bone folder to make sure it's down nice. All right. Got that. And I'm going to put the front of the card on last. And I'm going to do just a little bend back because I want a nice, clean crease across here so I can see where I'm going to be. We're going to adhere both sides, the top and the bottom half of the inside of the car. And again, this is so sticky, you don't need a lot of the adhesive. So you won't see me using a lot. We're going to put this on the top where it belongs. Whew, that was close. There we go. That and then the bottom. And I even said that, didn't I? Okay. Oh, now don't these scream Halloween colors? Get it? Scream? Just kidding, girls. Or should I say, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, now our house is going to go here. So what's nice about the backing is you don't have to worry about this showing. But although, because we have this nice dark color, it's not going to matter anyways. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I need to adhere two sides. One to the top and one to the bottom. So we're going to flip this over because that's where our adhesive is. And you're going to line up your crease here with your crease here. So line that up on both sides. There we go. That's what's going to pop up your card. Now I like to fold mine over just to make sure that I'm hooked up in there nice. And then you're going to have to make sure this pops back up. There you go. So back over we go. Push that back down. 
If you're unsure about the stamp and seal plus, you can always use your multi glue because we all know that works spectacularly. And when you do that, you also have the ability to move it a little bit. So we want to line this up. So I'm going to drop this back down so I can kind of gauge by my edges. See how I'm doing that right there? Just want to gauge by my edges that I'm lined up there. Here we go. And then I want to press that down again. Now I'm going to hold it for just a bit. And while that glue is adhering, let's put the front onto our card. So that's going to hold that all together. Yes, I go over the top of my ribbon. A, it makes sure my ribbon stays intact because when you have something between the cardstock and the front of your card, it has a tendency to push it away. So when you're working with the Stamp and Seal Plus, you have an advantage because it is so nice and sticky. But I always like to make sure that my ribbon ends do not pop out. Okay, so there's the front. And then there is your surprise, your pop-up card. Can you, can you see how that pops up there? All right. And now while that's sitting back, we're going to put the rest of our little ghosts on. So let's put a little adhesive on this guy. Now, if you look at this designer paper really close, this little guy, and I wish I had an extra piece here. Actually, I got one very close. I have to show you because this is just too cute. He is actually eating like cheese corn, cheese pops, and they're coming right out his belly. So in and right back out. So you got to look closely at this paper because it is really cute. But I'm just going to tuck him right like this because if you look closely, where his eyes are, are now eyebrows, right? And his little mouth, I turned into little eyes. <laughs> so he's just peeking over the top of the house. Okay. Now our other little ghost is going to be at the bottom. And I'm just going to do a little adhesive to his tail. And I have to make sure that I put this down far enough so there is no adhesive on the front there because we do not want that on our card. We don't want anything there that's going to um, pull that all together. And then our other little cutie over here, he is going to get popped up with some dimensionals. There we go. And we'll pick these off. Oh, he's kind of little. Works better on bigger projects. Come on. There we go. Take your pick. Pick those right off. And he is going to be flying over the top of our house. So we got three little specters here. And our trick or treat. Chubby guy would have been cute too. And then... I'm grabbing the other card so I can show you what it looks like when I don't put the thing behind that. I made this just the size for a gift card. So, your little ghoulish delights can be... Oh, goodness. I think I'm going to glue that down because it'll work hold better. Will be a trick or a treat. So there is the inside of our pop-up card, and I am going to go back over this with the glue because it will hold better. There we go. So meanwhile, while he's all setting up over there, 
then I'm going to show you this one. So it looks just the same, except see this? Let me put this behind so you can see better. We just left the house open. So you can see the purple behind it. So it looks pretty cool, right? Kind of spooky, yet the specters are fun. And we did the same with the bats and the trick-or-treat over here and our front. So this is our little cutie made with, got to let that set up, made with our peaceful cabin. So that is like the core, our peaceful cabin, and then our cute Halloween suite in which I chose the cute Halloween 6x6 designer paper and then the black and white gingham ribbon come from that product suite. And I do have a fall special going on right now. And let me just bring that in here. We'll pop our goodies over here. All right. So when you order the Peaceful Cabin bundle from me, and you can find me at Linda Loves, that is with a U-V-S, dot stampin' up, dot net. And I have a host code of 9C9YGT3H. And when you order that bundle from me, you will receive the PDF for our Halloween pop-up card and two of my Z Fold cards that we made in our stamp club this month. And they were made with, of course, the Peaceful Cabin. So that is available when you purchase through me with this host code, I will get a notification. And when I get that, I will get you that sent out. And then you'll also have links to the video as well. So. I thank you very much for joining me. Again, if you are watching me on YouTube and you liked what you saw here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll see every time I put out a new video. And I do so at least once a week. So I'll meet you back there. And until then, you have a wonderful day. And I thank you again for joining me. Have a good day.